A blue screen of death is a most common seen issue which keeps users from logging Windows correctly. The main possible reasons for this include MBR and system file error, Windows boot file BCD related error, compatible issue between the new added software and hardware and the PC. To diagnose the issue and fix system files, you could boot from a Windows installation CD or USB drive by changing boot order in BIOS. And actually, there will be no any installation executed. Instead, we just need some fixed options, including in the installation disk. After the installation process appears, click next and repair your computer. Then click on troubleshoot. Advanced option. Now, several useful options for an unbootable system are available. Normally, it is suggested to try startup repair first because it will automatically diagnose the system and try to fix any issues detected. But if the autofix fails, then there is a command prompt which allows you to manually run some fixed commands like the boot rec command on the screen. For a BCD file configuration error, Microsoft also offers a command which allows you to fix the error, the BCD edit command. You can also run it from Windows installation disk or a WinPE bootable disk from ESA's products. But to fix the BCD files, it requires some necessary basic knowledge about system boot process and the BCD files working principles. If you're not familiar with these stuff, you may feel free to contact supportandesus.com for some suggestions. For the third most common boot issue, it usually happens after there is a new software or hardware installed. And from the information displayed on the BSOD screen, it would give some clues to refer to the cause. To solve this issue, we could boot into Windows Safe Mode to remove the cause which have compatible issue with current Windows. To do this job, we just need to keep press F8 key on keyboard after the PC powers on and select one of the options from the safe mode boot menu. It is okay to select the simple safe mode one if you're not familiar with the others. And after logging safe mode, just uh, use the control panel on installation component to remove the new added software or use the device manager to uninstall the driver files of the new added hardware that restart the PC to see if the error has been fixed. If you still have any questions about the boot issue, just feel free to contact us. Thank you very much for watching.